Welcome back to the channel. It's Sam here with GSK Wealth Builders. And I just wanted to talk about the trading report that came out from Binance for futures trading in April 2021. So it's really important to look at the exchanges, the centralized exchanges, and especially Binance, because they have a de the biggest decentralized exchange and one of the biggest centralized exchanges, actually the biggest centralized exchange in the world so they have a lot of data about crypto trading and things like that so instead of just going on the news and looking at what the news is saying go right to the data that's what that's what i like to do so um, let's just go through this report and see if we can get any insight so this report was done three days ago the 4th of may 2021 and futures trading apart and the headline is bitcoin loses its shine as ether takes over and i can say that in my personal portfolio i don't hold bitcoin i don't intend on holding bitcoin anytime soon i think ether's going to outperform it i think binance coins out going to outperform it i think polka dot's going to outperform it i think solana's going to outperform it but when things get tough you want to be holding usd <laughs> i was going to say bitcoin but you want to be holding usd so okay so let's just go to the top of the headlines and see what's going on here so in april the total market value for bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies has doubled since the turn of the new year topping off at 2.2 trillion according to coin market cap so january to april we doubled we added a trillion dollars of value 9192 cryptocurrencies are tracked by the website coin market cap had a combined market value of 2.2 trillion as of april 30th up 16 percent from march Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency by market cap, had a roller coaster month with an all new with a new all-time high of 64,854 on April 14th, subsequently capitulating to 46.9. So that's a huge dip from 64.8 to 46.9. Um, then Bitcoin traded marginally lower on April, down 1.8 from March. So Bitcoin roared up in, in March and then um, in April. And then just started falling apart so as bitcoin was falling apart this is the one of the first times in crypto as bitcoin was falling apart ethereum was just like launching which usually when bitcoin goes down the rest of them go down this is the first time ethereum was controlling the market that i know of where bitcoin is tanking and ethereum just and all the other coins are like we don't care that bitcoin is tanking so that was cool um the bitcoin sell-off drove the btc dominance index almost uh the lowest reading in two years falling to 48 under 48 percent for the first time since july 2018 uh, since the start of the year bitcoin dominance index has been in free fall the market dominance assesses how the market capitalization in particular cryptocurrency stacks up against the total market of tradable cryptocurrencies so overall all that means when it comes to all the coins bitcoin has always been over 50 percent really 65 percent sometimes and it's, it's starting to go down and down and down as altcoins are starting to go up. And they call it altcoin season, but I think it's just people learning that you can hold other coins that are better. Um, the year-to-date altcoin market cap grew from under $250 billion to $1.1 trillion, so Forex. And that's where the gains came from, mostly, right? So several coins have outperformed. Ethereum, BNB, Cardano have done most of the, dom the damage. So yeah, BNB, Cardano, like people believe in this company. They just talk, they talk and they talk and they talk and they've been doing it for four years and apparently they have the best product going, the fastest speed, cheapest cost, best smart contracts, unhackable. We got to see it though. I think Solana's got it there. So in contrast, Ethereum, the smart contract giant has a phenomenal month registering over 44% gains. That's solid in a month. Ethereum year-to-date gains 320% and a market cap of 350 billion. I think it's 400 now, right? So Ethereum changed hands at 2,700 at third, April 30th and it posted a new all-time high on May 4th of 3527. So if you're buying Ethereum or trying to buy the dip, I mean, there's not very many opportunities, but it's, it's moving. So Ethereum's re resilience has been attributed to its strong on-chain activity. So the network is being used. According to data analytics provider Glassnode, the amount of ETH locked in smart contracts almost doubled 
since a year ago, growing to 12% of ETH supply. So 12% of ETH supply is in a smart contract, either DeFi, lending protocol. People are using their ETH to do things now. So that's huge. And it just shows the graph here. So you're looking at March 2020 till June 20, you're looking at 11%. And it grew to 23%. Right, so... That's from Glassnode. Um, with more Ether luck and smart contracts, the supply and exchange has continued to decline. So this is actually very important. Coinbase, for example, will have $8 billion on exchange. They might have, I don't know, hopefully they have $8 billion being traded, but I would guess they have more being traded. So what happens is if everyone asks for their Bitcoin at the same time, they might not have the Bitcoin. Why? Because I can hold the Bitcoin in my wallet put in a smart contract and earn yield now. I can hold Ethereum in um, my wallet. Can I get yield on Ethereum? Yeah, I can hold Ethereum, st like stake ETH in my wallet and I can get airdrops every day at 7% interest. So why would I give it to Nexo for them to give me 5% interest? Only because I can borrow against it and then buy more maybe, right? So that's just, yeah, you can do that. So. Um, yeah, let's continue. So basically, 27%. So here's the, the amount of money on exchanges, 19 million, down to 14 million. To me, that's a good thing. So investors are bullish on Ether because of the upgrade to the new network. So basically, Ethereum is promising that they're going to have faster, what do they say, cheaper transactions. Uh, we're going to move to staking. So it's better for the the world, right? It's better for the environment. And then the third thing is Ethereum is going to become deflationary. So they're going to have, you know, much, a bunch of coins, 120 million. And every year they're going to get less and less and less coins, which should drive the price up if the demand stays the same. So um, the miners, that's how the miners can actually lower the fees. They didn't want to lower the fees, but if you lower the supply, they'll lower the fees because they think that they're going to hold, right? So BNB, breaking records. 105% surge in April. BNB exchanged hands at 622 April 30th. Um, year to date, BNB 1500% gain. So 15x your money on BNB. I love BNB because they do the coin burn. So their latest rally has been driven by the growth of the Binance Smart Chain. All of the games, all of the new meme coins, they're all on the Binance Smart Chain. So whether people believe in them or not, it's driving adoption to the Binance Smart Chain. It's teaching people how to use Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, One Inch Exchange, all of these different exchanges, Bakery Swap, Venus Swap. Um, there's all of them. So, and you can look at the transactions on Binance, less than two million, then boom, it's just going over eight million now. So, uh, record high futures trading volume. So that's what this is about. Where is the big money, right? The people trading futures, it's big money. So where is it going? Right, so Binance futures processed $2 trillion in volume, up 54% in March. 24-hour uh, volume, $121 billion in contracts. Open interest in Binance is a new milestone, $13 billion on April 13th. Bitcoin had a new all-time all -time high, leveraged long positions. So when it plunged, when Bitcoin plunged to 47000 the biggest liquidation of all time happened. Uh, people lost money which I mean, they're going too crazy. So that's how it's supposed to happen. None of this bailing out people, right? So um, the open interest fell to 9.2 billion and then it recovered to 9.7 billion. So this is the daily interest of the futures and it's just continuing to rise. And then if it tanked, it'll continue to rise. So Bitcoin's open interest dominance. So Bitcoin's interest dominance went from 43% to 36%. So you look at the futures, you have Bitcoin dropping here out of all of the futures, which is just, it makes sense. It makes sense. Why would you bet on Bitcoin when Ethereum and Binance is doing way better? So um, the altcoins have driven the interest growth. So will Bitcoin catch up with altcoins? I, th I think it will, because that's where the big money wants to be. They're going to buy the dip. Uh, I think it will. Now let's compare it to the other so you had Binance coin, 1500%, Ethereum, what was that? 300%, 300%, and then you have Bitcoin up. So then the next best thing you could have done was buy crude oil. 
don't think I don't think people were doing that, right? Unless they subscribe to professional analysts that said to buy oil because of inflation. Um, S and P five hundred. 13% NASDAQ. So to me, 13% is amazing. It's amazing in the stock market. Don't really care much for it um, right now because of crypto. So, you know, crypto has had one of the best performances of all time, best performing years of all time, right? For the masses. Uh, PayPal is adding crypto, or they already did. You know, Square already has crypto. So then we have a Binance ad. So that's the end of the, the, um, the article. So just basically, um, they can't forecast where the bull run will persist until 2022. They can confidently say that the positive developments achieved this year by the cryptocurrency economy will not wade away anytime soon. Large investors, large institutional investors are beginning to see the value of digital asset space. Right now, they're trying to do NFTs and all these other things. And um, Metro Mile, one of my uh, favorite stock picks for a new company. Metro Mile is trying to, or Metro Mile is going to buy $10 million worth of Bitcoin and hold it on their balance sheet. That's huge. Um, they're a really small company, but it's probably going to be worth it. Hopefully they hold some Ethereum and some Solana and some BNB, but they're going to go with the most stable one first. So that's the uh, Binance Futures April report. I hope you enjoy it. Always try to find this the data. That's what I do. I bring you the data. I don't you know, I, I have my opinion every once in a while, but my opinion is usually based on data. So uh, that's my presentation for today. Binance is a great place. Binance blog is a great place to find information. So I'll keep bringing you this information uh, here and there. So thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the, the content, turn your notifications on. Give me a like. It helps me grow the channel. And just follow me at SamGSK. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs>